am so nervous for what we are about to do today. Um, but also, new outfit. Yes, what do we think? Uh, this might perhaps be merch that is coming out on Tuesday. And if you would like first access, uh, I'll be letting my Instagram followers know first, but uh, sneak peek. <laughs> okay, anyways, we are gonna do more five minute crafts coffee hacks. Y'all seem to really like the video I did last time. And I've got a lot more and, and give, hang on there. This time I brought myself a list. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six coffee hacks we have to do today. I've already had one cup of coffee and a bagel and I'm ready to go. So let me show you what we're working with today. I've got more chocolate syrup. We have got milk. We have got coffee, got crafting paper. What hack is complete without crafting paper? Cinnamon, paint brushes, one singular chopstick. We've got the closest thing to gelatin I could find, which is jello, sweetened condensed milk, and socks. You know, just everyday coffee hack sort of things. I'm nervous. I'm a little bit excited. I think we should just get started. I also have my lovely little reference stand right here where I will be watching the video just to make sure we do this exactly as they do. So the plan here is we are gonna do each one of these hacks and then I'm gonna rate them on a scale from one to 10. One being this is the worst thing in existence and I never wanna do it again. And 10 being I would recommend this. I'm hoping for at least one 10 today, we'll see. Okay, so let's take a look at this first hack because this one's gonna take a little bit of time. So I wanna at least get it started and put in the freezer before we do the other ones. Okay, so this first hack is gonna be some sort of coffee jelly thing. Don't be scared, there are no gummy bears involved this time. So looking at it, it seems pretty simple. We're starting off with a cup of coffee and I, I love that they're giving me measurements this time. Three tablespoons gelatin, you let that simmer and then you take it off heat and you transfer like half of it into the bottom of some sort of mold. I don't have heart ones, unfortunately. I wasn't able to find those, but I do have a little square one. So after that, you freeze for 10 minutes. And then during that, you add gelatin and water. And then also, I believe, yeah, condensed milk to make something like sweet and creamy. And then you just spoon that over the other half of the mold, freeze for another 10 minutes. And then afterwards, you just pop them out and you have tasty little coffee jelly squares, question mark. And then hear me out here. I don't have pure gelatin, but I do have vanilla jello. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to try to use this to see if it'll work the same. I got vanilla because I think that's gonna be a nice complimentary flavor if that is even a thing in this scenario. Okay, and then I almost forgot we also have our ice mold here, which I don't have a heart shape, unfortunately, but we do have these cute little cubes. So these will be coffee, cream, sweet thing cubes. Cool, all right. So I need to brew some coffee and then we're gonna head over to the stove. So in the meantime, while I brew coffee, I'm gonna give a shout out to today's sponsor. I want to give a huge thank you to Trade Coffee for sponsoring today's video. With Trade, you can find new coffees from roasters all over the US. With a simple quiz, Trade will find coffees that fit your exact needs and ship them straight from the roastery. You can also choose the frequency you want your coffee to arrive at, so you'll never run out and you'll always have the freshest roasts. Now, after I filled out their quiz, one of the coffees that Trade recommended to me was this wonderful blend of Latin American coffees from Huckleberry Roasters in Denver, Colorado. And now while I brew this beautiful coffee with notes of toffee and milk chocolate, I should also let you know that when you finish your bag of coffee, you can rate it on Trade so they will continue to tailor their selections of coffee that they send to you. Also, Trade ships all their coffees in compostable packaging and they guarantee that you'll love your first coffee. But hey, even if you don't, they'll ship you another bag for free. And if all of that doesn't convince you, then let me tell you that as my viewer, you'll get 50% off your first bag when you sign up with Trade. Just click the link in my description, take the quiz and enter code MDC50. This offer is valid for the first 100 people who click the link, so there's no time to lose. Thank you again to Trade for the tasty coffee that we'll be using today and for sponsoring the video. Okay, so we now have our coffee gelatin mixture. I will say it has thickened up quite nicely and it smells kind of good, believe it or not. If you can tell, it is nice and sludgy currently. Oh, this is gonna take a minute, okay. Okay, let's just clean up our edges here and then I think we're all good to go on this first stage. Okay, I'm gonna tentatively say that went a lot better than I thought it was going to. So we're gonna stick it in the fridge for 10 minutes and during that time, we're gonna do basically the exact same thing, but this time, instead of coffee, we're gonna use water and then a certain amount of sweetened condensed milk. Okay, 
so I'm fairly certain that I simply made jello. Okay, so our coffee has definitely begun to set up. So I'm just gonna layer this on top and then I'm gonna stick it back in the freezer. My guess is it's gonna take more than 10 minutes in there to completely solidify, but we'll just give it however much time it needs because we've got plenty of other stuff to do in the meantime. Okay, off we go. All right, we've done everything we can for that one. Now onto our next tack. Okay, this next one is gonna take a lot of skills that I don't think I already have. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing latte art, but not in the way you think. Let's review. Okay, so we have a ton of milk foam on top and then we're just gonna add on a chocolate syrup of type. Then I'm gonna use the end of my chopstick to kind of just whirl it around and create this sort of like fun blended effect. And then afterwards, we're just gonna draw a whole lady. So I don't know if I can do this, but we are sure as heck gonna try. The confusing thing is that it's all just white milk foam on top. So I'm questioning that this is actually a latte. I think this is just a ton of milk foam in a cup. And for the sake of not wasting valuable espresso, I'm just gonna steam up a bunch of milk. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. My rule is that if they don't give me rules, I can bend the rules that they don't give me. So milk foam it is. So we're just gonna foam it up. That seems like plenty. Oh no, it's sinking. Okay. And then we're just gonna, just gonna make hair. This looks good. Okay. Okay, some nice, some nice curls. I like how like, I like how adding the milk foam in kind of changes the dimension. Like I feel like we've got a little bit of shading here, whether we want it or not. And then the next thing we're supposed to do is I'm supposed to make a face over here somehow but I don't have enough left, so I'm gonna put some chocolate on the side. We're gonna consider this our little paint palette, and then go from there. We have a forehead scenario. Oh, that's a bad, <laughs> they've got a little lump on their forehead, that's okay. All right, got our nose, and then we go in. I guess there's like a curve down to the lips. Oh gosh. And then a chin. <laughs> okay, all right. Let me let me make my lines a little bit better. And then we have. Okay, the way they did it is you have your your brow is like right here, I think. So make a little eyebrow. And then you also have an eye. Oh gosh. The mouth area is uh, questionable at best. <laughs> this is so scary. <laughs> okay, all right, here's a side by side. Here is what I did. Um, and then here's what they did. Okay, right? Like that's not, that's not the worst thing ever. You know, I think if you just had a little bit more artistic experience than I actually have, you'd be able to pull this off much better. But for someone who's never drawn a face before, it's not too bad. I'm gonna give this hack a seven out of 10. However, for pure enjoyment, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. This was very fun to do, even if she does look a little bit like the Wicked Witch of the West. All right, seven out of 10 is my final score. Next hack. So this next one is pretty standard. This is gonna be the coffee ice cube hack. Okay, so looking at this, we're gonna be making our coffee and then pouring it into an ice cube tray. And all right, hang on, scratch, hang on. Come back. One thing I've noticed about these five minute craft hacks is that very, very frequently they use the word espresso interchangeably with coffee. What I am seeing here is not espresso. It's definitely like a coffee or an iced coffee of some type. So this is definitely coffee. We're making an iced coffee where they're gonna stick it in our ice cubes, make the ice cubes, stick them in our cup, and then just pour milk over them. And then I guess, According to them, you have the perfect iced latte. Now, this of course had to be done ahead of time because freezing things usually takes overnight. So I have a bunch of coffee ice cubes ready to go. I'm just gonna load in as many as possible because this is our only source of coffee in this drink. I'm gonna give this a couple minutes to just sit and let the coffee melt down, then we'll try drinking it. Mm. It's definitely coffee milk. Is it a good drink by itself? Just the milk and the ice cubes? Not really. So I think I have to give this quick little hack a five out of 10. Because hear me out, the bones are all there. Coffee ice cubes, great idea, love it. But adding these ice cubes as the sole replacement for either iced coffee or espresso in your latte, eh, 
doesn't really work. Okay, so this next hack is gonna involve some hand coordination, some artistic skill. Don't know if I have either, but let's go for it. So it's essentially a coffee stencil. So we're gonna trace out the shape of our mug. We're gonna cut that out, and then afterwards, we're gonna put some nice word scenario in it. Um, for this hack in this, <laughs> <laughs> in this illustration, they chose to say, marry me. And then after that, they put it on a tray, which I imagine is breakfast in bed, and then proposed to their loved one of sorts. Now, I don't know if any of y'all know this, I'm already married. I'm not proposing to anyone and no one else is proposing to me. But my partner is working in the office. This could be very romantic. Okay, this is why we have craft paper. Scissor time. <laughs> not that, not that. It's time to use the scissors. Okay, this R is gonna have to be a little small. So we're running out of space. The Y is just gonna be tiny. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> How's that? Right? Not the worst thing. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to cut that end off. Okay, we have to save this part. We have to tape this part back on. I'm gonna have to do surgery on this thing. That is as good as it's gonna get. I don't think I did a good job. I think I did a job. I'm so curious whether you'll actually be able to read this or not. I feel like a lot of these like drawing and cutting out skills I would have gained if I had gone to public school, uh, but instead I was homeschooled. So I played with sticks in the backyard. Never thought this would be the consequence. Make sure none of the edges are inside. And then we're gonna just do, we're gonna do a light sprinkle from a high distance, I think. This is the moment of truth. <gasps> oh shoot! It is not bad. Oh, I can read this. I'm so excited. <laughs> a gift? If I, if I gave this to you, would you marry me? <laughs> what is there, like a ring in the bottom? Like Here, a, try it. Try it. Don't, like, don't put your finger in it. Am I supposed to fish the ring don't out? Don't fish the ring out. Um, try it. Drink it. Pretty foamy. It's mostly foam. Is it just foam? It's just foam. <laughs> okay. Good try, then. Thank you. I'm going to give this hack a solid two out of ten. It did technically work. Do I think you should probably spend the three dollars it would take to buy something like this online? Mm, probably. Maybe I'm just a bad crafter, but I don't intend on repeating this anytime soon. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Morgan's Art Studio. Today, we will be painting with all the colors of coffee. So, come on, join along. Get your cup of coffee, get your brushes, get your paper, turn on some jazz music, let's just relax and paint our worries away. Okay, but no, this next hack is painting with coffee. Now, they drew all sorts of fancy things, but as we have clearly discovered, I don't have that sort of artistic ability. So, I think I'm just gonna go for like a self-portrait sort of scenario. This will probably be in stick figure form. How does one draw curls? That's my question. Maybe I can like, maybe I can like layer. So I'll do like my first bit of, <laughs> my first bit of curls. And I think I'm gonna be holding a pitcher and maybe like a latte cup. Okay, I think we did it. Just like me, right? I think it worked. I think it was fun. And I think I am the only one at fault for why this looks like it does. Thank you for joining Morgan's Art Studio. Nine out of 10, next hack. Sock coffee. Now I brought these on screen to show you explicitly that I am using clean, unopened socks. Please never attempt this hack with socks that you have worn. Okay, so we're using this as a filter. We're gonna put our sock around the cup's edge. We're gonna put in our coffee and we're gonna add our hot water. And in theory, this is gonna act as a pour over as sorts. I think I'm gonna use a clear glass so we can actually see what's happening. I bet you didn't expect I'd be doing this today when you sponsored the video trade. <laughs> all right, all the necessary tools have been acquired. I'm gonna give you a little closer look at what I'm gonna do here. I think we're gonna have to do this pretty slowly because I don't want this overflowing out of the sock. Coffee is coming out the other end. So already I think we're doing okay. 
Okay, according to Five Minute Crafts, we have now achieved sock coffee. Oh, it feels wrong. Oh, it feels wrong. Um, <laughs> okay, um, I know they call this a reusable filter. I'm gonna throw it away. Don't tell anyone. Let's put our coffee into something we can drink it out of and give it a taste. Got these wonderful little like sensory drinking cups from Krug. We've got sock coffee. We might as well try to level it out with some really nice drinkware. So I'm just gonna use this. Okay, I have thoughts. In terms of the intensity of flavor, it's all there. This is as strong as I would want a coffee to taste. In fact, it might be a little bit too strong, which is happening because that coffee was extracting for way too long because I had no real control of how quickly it drained or how much water I could put in at one time. So I spent way too much time brewing just because I couldn't physically put in the amount of water that I would want to if I was using a regular pour over. That was a long sentence. I hope that made sense. The mouthfeel though, the body of it, really soft. I don't wanna compare it to the sock because I don't think the idea of saying it has a fluffy sock-like texture is very nice. Uh, but that's kind of what it is. I don't know, I'm gonna eat my words on this one a little bit. As much as the sock coffee terrifies me and scares me, it kind of works. Is it delicious? No. Is it the best cup of coffee you could have? No. But you made it with a sock, so I you can't expect those things. If you're in a pinch and you want pour over coffee and all you have is an unused, notice that, unused clean sock, you can make it work. I'm going to give this a seven out of 10. That feels a little bit generous, but it does work. It does provide you with an okay-ish cup of coffee. And I think if you spent the time to refine your method, you might even end up with something that's kind of good. Okay, now as much as I would like to continue talking about the sock coffee, we have one last hack that has been going on since the very beginning of this video. I think it's time to pull out our coffee gelatin squares cubes, whatever they are. So these have been in the freezer for probably about at least over an hour now. I will say, I don't think these are gonna come out smoothly. I'm gonna get a plate and we're gonna try, but what I'm expecting is that we're just gonna have to scoop directly out of here. Okay, I'm just gonna try to see. So they're just spilling out. Oh no. <laughs> well, it looks like they melted. <laughs> Unfortunately, these have not come out in cubes. Uh, but I think this is a really good opportunity to instead just use a spoon. I mean, it's just really good. Using vanilla jello definitely adds a ton of sweetness, but oh, this is tasty. So for this hack, I'm gonna give it six out of 10. That may seem a little bit low. However, I do wanna say that this did not set up the way it was promised to. I'm not able to pick these up with my hands, unfortunately. Is that the fault of using vanilla jello? Potentially, potentially not, but the flavors of this, mm, immaculate. So six out of 10 it is. So we'll say thank you for joining me for another episode of Five Minute Coffee, Five Minute Crafts Coffee Hacks, tested by a barista. <laughs> this went significantly better than it did last time. As always, I am Morgan Drinks Coffee on most platforms, especially TikTok and Instagram. And I post content almost daily on those. I will also say that this wonderful piece of merchandise is coming out on Tuesday, along with another beautiful design. And if you wanna learn more about that, you can head over to my Instagram. Otherwise, I will be talking about it more next Friday. So if you also wanna wait for that, feel free. Additionally, I wanna give a huge thank you to Trade Coffee for sponsoring today's video. Again, if you want 50% off your first order, you can go to drinktrade.com and use the code MDC50 for 50% off your first order. Uh, I really appreciate them making this coffee drinking experience significantly better than it would have been if I used any other coffee. And with that, I think I'm out for the day. Um, me and Art Studio Morgan, we'll see you next time. Have a good day, everyone.